hello my beautiful people hope you're doing well um if you're new here kindly don't forget to subscribe and if you are not new here and have not yet subscribed kindly get down to the subscribe button and subscribe like and comment down there below so today we're going to do the gel polish tutorial first you have to buff your nails very slightly to take away the shine do not apply a lot of pressure when buffing the nails make sure it become out clean go gently on the legs on the nails then cut off the excess <coughs> the excess nail uh, to the to the <coughs> desired to the desired size of the the client or the size that you want cut it using a nail cutter slowly to each toe that you want and the amount of the and then after cutting the nails make sure you're gentle so that the nail clipper cannot uh cannot cannot cut your <coughs> cut you then slide slowly buff the nail using a file buffer just gently to shape up the toenail the desired shape that you want you can most tattoos uh, many people do the car one and the box one uh, it's hard for them to do the um, stilettos because stilettos mostly it goes well and well in fingers in fingers of the hand uh, <clears throat> for the toenails they don't go well with the stilettos shaper so in this one you do the you do the round round the box the oval whichever shape that you want but not still it is just slowly buff the nail slowly to have that desired smooth to have that desired smooth nail to remove the shines buff it it will take some time but it will depend with the type of nail your customer have in step two my friend you apply in every tool apply a thin layer of primer and let it dry same case applies to the other two apply a thin layer of primer gently in each and every two the good thing about primer it prevents the nails from hardening and uh, also it helps the nails from cracking I uh, avoid them from cracking darkening them you make sure that you make the cap uh, on the end of the toenail Then, uh, of the excess that has got on the skin, you use a, a, a ear band or a cotton wool. If you don't have a nail, you can use a cotton wool that you have uh, dipped it in an acetone to wipe the excess. Always keep in mind that when you're curing times, uh, it depends on the gel brand and the type of lamp that you're using. Uh, you can cure it for 30 seconds or one minute, depends on you. Okay, on step three, we are going to add the <coughs> we add add the top layer. As you can see it has already been added. Then the third layer, we are going to add the color. 
we're going to add the color on top and make sure that you wipe the excess and then I count the you wipe the excess Ooh, my goodness you wipe the excess gel on the neck of the bottle and apply on your toe apply your first layer to be very thin take time and make sure you don't flare the cuticles just make sure that you don't flare the cuticles just take your time so the that <clears throat> i'm going to use the second color the cherry red applying slowly thin same case to the other color the red one you wipe the excess gel on the neck of your gel, gel bottle smear it gently on all toes turn on all toenails then make sure that you form a cap a flat cap on the edge of your toenail take your time If you're good in making a super perm to, to perform a perfect length loose to your cuticles, then you don't have to use the master. You don't have to use the master, the master eight, the master art nail. Slowly and neat. Close well the cuticle. Make sure the cuticles are wet close. Then cure it on the lid for about after that you go to the thumbs. Before applying the second layer, you do it gently. Do it gently. Very perfect, very beautiful. As you can see, it's very beautiful. Making sure all the nail that it has been smeared with the gel polish. Hmm. That color looks wow. Just making sure that the color looks wow. Thin, very thin. Don't overdo it. Don't over put. Don't overdo it. Just a thin layer. Use thin layer, then use the cotton that has been dipped uh, for the acetone. You wipe the excess that has, it's very cold, the acetone is very cold. You add the excess that has come out of, of the cuticles, out of the nails, that has made out to the, the unwanted places. I just wipe it off to make a very clean uh, work. and beautiful work so you use the dart brush if you don't want to identify your nails you just use the earbud earband and remove the excess gel on your skin to remove the metal okay I have to redo it again just a little bit just a little little bit yeah there you go just I wanted it then you did on the on the cure for 30 seconds okay in the lid for just 30 seconds as you apply the other two the other two you do the same just as you have done the first two you apply just a thin layer you apply thin layer on every two just wipe the excess the excess gel on the on the neck of the bottle to remain with a drop of the a drop of it so that you can do it on all toes 
just a thin layer. You don't have to do a thick layer. When you do a thick layer, the disadvantage of doing a thick layer, it peels very quickly. It doesn't last for long. It looks so... It doesn't look wow. It, it doesn't look shiny. It doesn't look... Oh, ooh, nah, not really. It looks like... Oh, so dull. It doesn't look shiny. It doesn't look beautiful. Just do the thin layer so that you can come back and do the second thin layer so that it can come out really beautiful the color can come out the color can bring itself out it can shine it can pop itself out so that it can remove the beautiful image that was hidden in the tunnels and the beauty of a blade is the colors you just play around with colors play with them very well just don't do it for the sake of doing just colors some colors depend also with your skin color, depends on your, with your toe also. You can apply green and even your toe doesn't match your skin color. The gel, sorry, the gel doesn't uh, match your skin color. So just apply something beautiful, something wow. Just don't overdo it. Just love your toes. Go be down your toes. And the beautiful woman in it that will come out to be very beautiful. Just depending on the color that you love. Or you just feel old applying it. It brings out you very beautiful. Just make sure that you've cupped it very well at the edge of the tool. There you go. As you can see. I'm rubbing the excess. To make sure that the tools look very neat. When you leave the excess um, that has been smeared on the out of the of the skin, it will look ugly. It will not look uh, it will not look beautiful. The next step is applying the second layer. It should not be thick also. It should be thin. Just doing it gently. Make sure to cut the free edge. You when you cut the the edge of your when you cut the edge of your nail, the nail will last for longer. It will be beautiful. It will not peel out so quickly. Just be gentle. 